Hello everybody, Clive and Five here bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary, this time a matchup between FXO Straylock, the Red Terran in the top right hand corner, and Empire Violet, the Blue Zerg in the bottom left hand corner. Uh, now I haven't heard of Empire Violet, however, uh, I am well familiar with FXO Straylock, and if you are not, you need to have your head FXO Raid. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was terrible. I apologize for that one, folks. Uh, but anyway, Straylock, uh, one of the, the best foreigners, uh, well, back from Brew War days, uh, used to play uh, Terran back then, still playing Terran now, so it's nice to see. Uh, and I gotta say, just in general, I, I'm so thrilled to be seeing uh, more and more of the uh, of the old Brood War players make their way into StarCraft II. Uh, if you were paying attention to the GSL finals, was it GSL just this last weekend? Genius versus Dongregu. Oh man, that was heartbreaking to see. Uh, well, if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But uh, anyway, uh, Genius, another player from back in the Brood War days, uh, an old Protoss player. He's like, <laughs> in Brood War age, he's way out of his prime StarCraft playing years. Uh, but man, he made a strong appearance in the GSL finals, I gotta say. Uh, but it's just been a thrill for me to see a lot of these Brood War players make their way back onto the scene. I shouldn't say back onto the scene, but uh, make their way onto the Wings of Liberty scene. And I'm personally waiting for Bisu and Stork to make it. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, they uh, a lot of the pro players in Korea have uh, contracts with Kespa that actually don't allow them to play uh, StarCraft 2 until their contracts are up. Well, I think that they've been able to work their way out of those contracts, and so uh, it shouldn't be long until some of the old favorites, well, some of my old favorites from uh, Brood War are back, and I am just thrilled. I'm super excited for that. So anyway, we're going to be seeing some great, great uh, advances in the StarCraft scene, and I just love the way that the metagame has been going, and just things are so different than they were a year ago, StarCraft being basically brand new then, and now uh, uh, so much energy around the tournaments and everything that's been going on, uh, a lot of community tournaments to, uh, too, of course, which is fantastic. Now, I gotta, I just gotta ask, where is FXO Straylock going? Why am I calling him FXO Straylock going with this? Okay, now planting down that command center right at his natural. That seems a little bit odd to me, that he's just going ahead and planting down. Uh, granted, he did, uh, if I'm not mistaken, scout. Yeah, he had scouted that uh, Empire Violet was going for the expansion. He knows he has a little bit of time before uh, those Zerglings are inbound, but they now are on their way. Uh, this command center is not going to be done, however, uh, Straylock will have a bunker out, uh, hopefully we'll have a bunker out if these Zerglings keep moving, they are going to keep moving, is he going to have, oh no, he's building a tech lab too, uh, he really needs more Marines out, he needs to bring some SCVs off the line because these Marines are going to get surrounded fairly quickly, they may go down, this bunker is not going to finish, uh, will it finish, no, just not quite finished, and now this command center is at risk. Luckily, Straylock able to uh, wall off his main Hellion on the way, and the Zerglings honestly aren't going to get too far on the command center. Granted, it does slow Straylock down quite a bit in terms of uh, getting that Econ going uh, uh, as natural. Canceling. I'm assuming he canceled that bunker. Uh, now Straylock going to move out. Now that he has that Hellion, uh, that will help clear out those Zerglings right away. Uh, yeah, and the command center is going to finish here, so. Wow, that was a close one. Going for a 1-1-1 one, one, one we're seeing here, and what exactly is he going to build with this? Uh, is he going to go for the medevac to support his, uh, to support bio, or is he going to try to lift some hellions in? I'm going to guess he's going to try to lift some hellions in. Oh, actually going, building a tech lab, that's interesting. So, uh, boy, will we be seeing some banshee? Banshee Marine, perhaps. Uh, let's see if this is actually going to get scouted. This scout could be huge for Straylock. Or, sorry, for Empire Violet. 
sorry, I just honestly don't know who this guy is. So the Hellions are out, and wow, nice run around from these Zerglings, uh, just getting out of the, uh, going around those Hellions. Uh, now Hellions trying to chase the Zerglings back up. Zerglings gonna try to get into the main, but uh, Stereolock too quick, getting that front door up, and now these Zerglings are just gonna bite it. Crispy, delicious Zerglings, and oh, one more SCV killed right before uh, the grand finale. Now Empire Violet going for that third. Uh, Storylock going to move out, try to harass a little bit, I'm going to guess. Uh, however, Spine Crawlers ready to go here, and what is going on? What on earth is going on? Man, he is switching buildings everywhere, so it looks like he just wanted to build that tech lab. Uh, for the factory, so he could use the factory to get out a couple more Hellions. Now gonna research something, but uh, maybe he's gonna wait for this Overlord to GTFO. He doesn't want to reveal his hand. Uh, oh, there is a Banshee out. Ah, oh, jeez. Fail on my end there. Of course, Banshee will not be getting Cloak. However, we'll be able to annoyingly peck away at those roaches. Has Straylock scouted this third yet? No. And there goes that Overlord. And boy, that Banshee just being a huge nuisance. Nothing to attack air yet. Uh, a few queens out, but really that's not going to help a whole lot. Uh, just a single queen, actually. Yeah, it's definitely not going to help against those roaches that are out in open field. Uh, man, Empire Violet losing basically all those roaches that were out there. Now FX... Oh, I just keep calling him that. I just read the name. But it looks like he's moving south. Might, in fact, get a money scout on that third. And there it is. He catches the third. Now Straylock knows that this is the time he has to move out. He's got to... Nice tank uh, marine army, and if he follows that up with a couple more, say, oh, he's going to go for medevacs, that's cool. Uh, Siege tech is already researched. Got a second tank, so now this is the perfect time to move out. Building a third so he can expand while putting pressure. Well, I'm thinking he's got to try to take something now. Maybe he won't. I don't know. Now doesn't seem like the time to play timid. Marines moving out. Nothing at that uh, that Zelnaga Watchtower either. So uh, Empire Violet's not going to know that this is coming yet. Overseer scouting around. Sorry, I had to do a quick pause there. My computer just needs a rest every once in a while. And these Marines are going to waltz straight past that Overseer. Just going to keep moving. Where are the tanks? That's what I want to know. Tons of Marines, but the tanks are nowhere to be found. And yikes, these roaches are moving in. The Marines stimmed to get away. Oh man, where were the tanks? Man, I don't... I don't know what, what exactly is going on here. Wow, tons of roaches. Straylock has to get out of here, and yikes, loading up to save those marines. Again, what, where is he? Maybe gonna go out for a drop, it looks like. Let's follow this. Yeah, going for a drop right on this ledge. Uh, and honestly won't be scouted until perhaps too late, but a huge roach army moving out and well granted the tanks are now there so I guess uh, Straylock wanting to play defensive try to uh, catch Viol Empire Violet off guard uh, Trying to toy away with those uh, with this medevac, but there's another medevac right here He was in vision and the Zerglings are there to intercept. Is he going to pick them up? Yes, he does pick them up. Meanwhile, unloading another set of Marines, only to be <laughs> intercepted again by the Zerglings. So, not quite an effective drop yet. Uh, I'll keep an eye on those uh, dropships to see if anything comes of that. In the meantime, Empire Violet just trying to make some headway into uh, Straylock's uh, heavily fortified entryway here. really is rather odd. Deciding to elect for a ground route instead. What is he doing? Just trying to pick off a, 
a single overlord. Wow, and he's gonna get trapped down there with that fungal. Only able to recover a couple of marines who will quickly go down. I'm assuming he lost all the marines over here as well. No, didn't lose all of them, but lost a sizable portion. So Strelag has got to work on his micro, I can say. Not too impressed with that yet. Uh, but man, he does keep piling up on his defenses here at the main. But look at this gigantic... This is a freaky army. And again with the, the fungal in that uh, Banshee lockdown. Uh, looks like Violet is going to go straight in for uh, an attack, maybe. I, I don't. I honestly don't know what the best course of action. I, obviously, he doesn't want to attack headfirst into this many tanks. Uh, all these uh, all these investors are going to melt straight away to that, unless he has enough uh, tank fodder, which maybe maybe he does. I'm not sure. Uh, taking a look at income, we are seeing Empire Violet way ahead. Almost has a fourth down as well. So Straylock just getting moving on his third. And it looks like Violet is going to scout around for this third. And perhaps we'll get hardly decimated. I don't know. Oh, Straylock on sieging. Well, looks like he wants to move out. Uh, good luck to him, I guess. Oh, Siege Tank's still not quite sieged, but Vi Empire Violet's smartly going to back off there, I guess. Uh, <laughs> wow, I honestly don't know what to say. Ooh, another little drop just keeping uh, Violet back away from his fourth hatchery here. Actually get able to get the hatchery down about halfway. Uh, not a super effective drop, but uh, has allowed Straylock to gain a little bit more map position. Try to take that uh, Zelmaga Tower, which is uh, an important, of course, for that uh, map viewing, map presence, whatever you want to call it. And yikes, oh, almost leaving those tanks unattended. Oh, indeed leaving those tanks unattended. And the Zerglings are moving in, but it's too late. Roaches are in proximity, able to take down all the tanks, and wow, Roach is making quick work, and then going to back off wisely backing off. Nice job by Ent Empire Violet keeping those infestors back uh, so that they don't get picked off by the tanks. Saving their infestor energy for uh, that all-important uh, fungal growth against uh, the so weak, weak Terran infantry. And so now here comes sort of a last-ditch effort by Straylock trying to take down a hatchery while he has a chance. But the investors moving in, getting, getting some great fungals on that infantry. And wow, they are just melting away. This wasn't even a fight. Trying to load up the remains of that army, but wow, the damage has been done. Take a look at the army tab. Straylock is suffering. He is suffering bad. And back to income. Empire Violet. Basically, like, like nothing happened. Even playing, <laughs> putting down a fifth here. Uh, Straylock's gonna try to get something done here, but he just can't make headway on that hatchery. Oh man, and so violent, just able to replenish so quickly. Zerglings and oh, Broodlords moving in from all angles. And folks, this match, I don't want to call it too early, but this match is gonna be over pretty soon. Granted, oh, only a single Corrupter left. Uh, but still, yeah, Straylock knows it's over and he GG's it. Wow, intense game, and man, from a, a guy I've never heard who happens to be, uh, well, platinum on his 1v1s, it looks like, according to Drop Dead SC, uh, Empire really made a strong showing and uh, surprised me, certainly. So uh, I did see some other Straylock versus Empire Violet uh, replays on Drop Dead SC, so I might check those out. Stick around for more commentaries. Thanks, guys.